Very good. Item number four. <clears throat> Receipt of final statement of intent documents from council control organisations. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I'll take this paper as being read. Um, you have noted there's two options. Uh, option one, receive the final statement of intent. Option two, do not receive the final statement of intent. Uh, the written needed solution is that the council receives these statements of intent, um, the five that were attached. Do you have any questions at this time? Thank you, Sue. Uh, Councillor Cousins. Through the Chair, my only question would be on uh, 70, page 72 of the attachment about um, DGLT. Just um, their forecast, the figures, they're all the same for three years. Can I, I must have missed something somewhere. Can I? Oh, sorry, um, Page 72 of the attachment, the, the DGLT's statement of a comprehensive revenue of expense 16, 17, 17, 18, and 18, and 19. All the figures are the same. I have to be a numerical one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask. Could it not be some adjustment for us? Yeah. So then the wages are going to be the same, the expenses are going to be the same, nothing's going to change. Um, just to speak to that, the, um, you can see some changes in terms of expenditure, um, but as you can see, they aren't currently forecasting changes in income, so obviously our under the LTP, our uh, rates are set at this stake. Sure. Um, Appreciation of code was the thing I was asking. $30,000, $15,000 difference in that. Sorry, where are you looking at? Um, the... Oh, the appreciation of the code. Yeah. Why? Well, it's, it's, it's a bit unusual that all the figures remain the same, but we need to couple around that school. <laughs> We'd need to go and get some figures. Yeah, it's just a point. I want to check that. Check that. Check that. Check that. Check that. Check that. So, I guess just that if you look at it, the, those, those figures do change, so they, they decrease, which is what you'd expect for yeah. a, for a um, depreciation. But what then, the, because the income stays the same, the, um, the difference is made out of the, the other operating expenditure. So they're essentially reducing their marketing spend to make up for the increased employee cost and increased um, decreased depreciation. Right. Like normally when you're doing a forecast you expect some sort of like change in it's quite wide, but it just seems to be and it's very unusual. I guess when and that's just, I'm sure that it's LTP they will be the ones will be arguing that they need a, a change in their yeah. in their grant to take into account those increased costs essentially, but at the moment uh, stuck within the operating within that continual baseline so that's the jiggle the expenses to make to make that. We can definitely come back with some answers around the revenue from services provided for mm -hmm. income here. Because obviously it's been held at statute, which I assume is just a because it's a estimation. We can get some answers on that. Okay, uh, Councillor Krasowski. Yes, thank you. Uh, just uh, three questions of clarification, if I may, please. On page nine, um, under the capital expenditure forecast for the airport committee, I know that. Um, um, it hasn't as yet been determined, um, but can I have a oh, first of all, is the question, is it going to be significant um, expenditure and when is it likely to be known what the, uh, what the amount is going to be? Um, there's <coughs> excuse me, two major parts of expenditure. One is on the air side as far as um, expanding the parking area for planes, especially down where the major maintenance area is. Um, and the second one is potential expenditure on the terminal. Um, but as to when, um, we're finding it quite a slow process dealing with the Crown, as far as uh, any expenditure is concerned. The degree of <coughs> complexity and respect of business cases to them is quite intense. So, the Prime Minister in charge of tourism may, may come to the um, aid here. Um, on page 13, um, under Waikato Building Consent Group, I noticed that Kaupa is absent from that particular part. Any particular reason for that? Because we're in the back in terms of our building consent cluster. And we can't be on both? Uh, it would make no sense to be on both. Okay. And on page 42, uh, under the Taupo District Council um, representative, uh, do we now need to change the appointed director from Rob Williams to Mr. Uh, Gareth Green? Uh, 
uh, not in this because as I'm looking at last year, but in the next one it will change. Okay. And then so the you can flag. That's right, so the points on to both left and box that's uh, changing now. Thank you. That's all. Okay. <coughs> Recommended resolution. Just a couple of clarifications. Once again, I'm starting on 52 to do with the Great Lake Taupo. I just need some clarification on some of the pages that are numbered here. Um, on page, the first by page zero, attachment 552. It talks about uh, future capital purchases to the financial disclosure section of the statement, page 19. Uh, financial disclosure on mine is page 14. Um, and then we go to the last paragraph down, it talks about the statement of comprehension of revenue and expenditure on page 19. On mine it's page 20, so and I can't find, as Councillor Cousins pointed out, those same figures in 72. I've also noted which are page 20. It's a number of pages, but if you can have a document, it should really be correct. So my statement of comprehensive revenue and expenditure is page 20, not page 19. That's a great word, and it's uh, very slow. Okay. So it says, uh, this probably is a uh, mistake. So it's two page clarification. You got the check? Mm -hmm. Alright, any other uh, appearance on item number four? As a suggested uh, recommended uh, resolution council receives the final statements of the team for Tokal Airport local Authority Shared Services, Bay of Authority Shared Services, Destination Great Lake Palpo, and Local Government Funding Agency. And moved by Councillor Park, seconded by Councillor Truman. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those against, carry. <coughs> Sorry, it was remiss of me at the start of the meeting too to uh, welcome uh, formally our new CEO. Uh, if you could back that a little bit, appreciate <laughs> <laughs> Well, first official meeting in the uh, and, and thank you for being the acting CEO of the previous uh, 